Guess what? We are one of the first people in Jonesboro, Arkansas to get solar panels on our house. Now, it depends on what you call one of the first. If you call, you know, first 20 or 30 the first, no, we're not it. But I've never known anybody personally, never, that has had solar panels. And they just pretty much don't exist here. We did see a house about a mile from here that had some on the front of the house. Now, a lot of people put them on back because of the way the sun faces. That usually determines whether you put them on front or back. So, you know, I'm sure I've passed houses where I, they had them. I just didn't know or didn't notice. You know, but it depends on who you ask. There are a lot of people that think I've gone insane. They think that maybe I even have a brain tumor. I need to be checked because only a complete moron would do this. Because using my calculations, it's going to take about 18 years for them to pay for themselves if we have 0% inflation, which will not happen. If we have 4% inflation, I'm thinking it's going to take about 12 years for them to pay for themselves. What do they cost? I might disclose that at some point. I'm just not sure I want to do that. Because it would make some people's heads explode. Even though I don't mind being judged. It doesn't bother me one bit. But it's it was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. It's supposed to take care of 105% of our electrical needs. And at least in Jonesboro, the city has to approve the plans, of course. And them or the electric company, I'm not sure which, one of them will not approve you to have more solar panels than you barely need. Because it's also a state law that they have to buy any excess electricity from you for the going rate, whatever they charge you, charge you for it. They have to buy it. You know, so I guess they don't want you setting up a solar farm, as a friend of mine said, and forcing them to buy all this electricity. You know, but I will say this. If I spent the same amount of money I spent on these solar panels, if we spent the same amount of money, and instead we had bought a Ford F-150 4x4, say three or four years old with 100,000 miles on it for the same price, people would have said, Yay! Awesome! Awesome! What a great purchase! Those same people would bemoan and just, I mean, come unglued, at least internally, maybe privately, maybe publicly. And just say what a moron I am for spending the same amount of money to get rid of my electric bill. Now, it all comes down to profit and loss, return, return on investment, ROI. And I, I'm telling you, I am nervous. I'm nervous because what if they don't work as advertised? That's what concerns me. What if they don't work as advertised? That's going to really suck. You know, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be just fine. You know, but it is a little bit scary. Now, they haven't been turned on yet because the way the process works is, you know, you have your consultation, you wind up buying it, you do the paperwork and all that, and then they come out and install them. But they're not allowed to turn them on until the city inspects them. And then the electric company has to come out and flip the switch to actually make them start working. And he told me, he said, you're not with Synergy, are you? And I said, no, uh-uh. He said, good, because it takes them freaking forever. He claimed that the company I'm with here in Jonesboro usually takes them one to two weeks. And it's been half a week so far. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll get them turned on quick. You know, and uh, we'll see how well they work. Now, this picture here, this picture here, <laughs> I should have taken these out of this out of this folder if they wouldn't show up. This picture is my neighbor who's having all their sewer lines replaced. You know, I, I wish I'd... Anyway, those pictures are there, so I explained it, so it's fine. He just happened to be out there that day, you know, fixing his pipes. I just took a couple pictures just for the heck of it. So what do y'all think about the way they look? Let's get over here. So that's my neighbor's house again. Let's go over here to... Oh, they're cutting up the street. <laughs> oh, Dobby. Poor dog. He's been having seizures. What do y'all think about the way they look? I kind of like the shingles. I thought our shingles looked nice. We just had a new roof put on. You know, about a month and a half ago. But I also like the way these look. And speaking about that, one of the guys asked me, they said, how old is your roof? And I said, about a month. 
He said, man, that's the smartest thing you did was to put a new roof on before you called us to put solar panels on. He said, I've showed up at houses before where I thought, man, they should have put a roof on before they called us. I told him, I said, well, it's coincidence. It's just coincidence. You know, we needed a new roof, so we put it, we know, uh, had it put on, and then we thought about solar panels. But they will, from what I understand, from what I understand, don't take this as gospel. They will remove your solar panels one time for free in order to put a roof on if you need to. Now, is there a time frame on that? I don't know. But speaking of that, as far as time frames, let's talk about warranty. These panels are rated at 40 years and they have a 25 year warranty. And they claim uh, the guy in Little, you know, the office is in Little Rock for this particular franchisee, for lack of a better word. You know, and I don't know if he's officially a franchisee or what, but I have a feeling that's the way it's working. Or installer. I'd be he's just an installer. That's it. He's an installer that happens to install solar edge panels. But anyway, he's at their office. He said they've thrown all kinds of stuff at these panels, and they're just not breaking. They're supposed to be, you know, incredibly durable. But has a 25-year uh, warranty, and the inverter has a 12-year warranty, just in case y'all are wondering. Now, I don't want to discuss cost, what I paid yet. I may someday, but I'll tell you this. there's a It ends this year or starts decreasing this year. I think it just starts decreasing after this year. But through the rest of the year, the taxpayers of America will flip the bill for 26% of the installation. And I'm not saying I agree with that or don't. I, I, would, love, I would love to have a conversation about that. But I try not to discuss politics on this channel. And that's getting into the political realm, or I cannot talk about without getting into the political arena, you know, but they will pay 26%. But I did get it financed, 1.49% interest. And the total bill is going to be just a little bit less, just a tiny bit less than my average electric bill, you know, and they will someday be paid for, you know, and hopefully they'll last throughout that time. So as one person told me, he's, so, man, I think the worst case scenario is you break even on these things. I think that's the worst case is you break even. And another family member of mine who thinks I'm totally insane, he said, man, he said, you think it'll raise the value of your house? He said, I'm telling you, I would not pay $1 extra for your house because I had those solar panels. Not $1 extra. I said, so there's two houses side by side exactly the same and you're going to buy one. One of them doesn't have solar panels, and the other one does, but it's a dollar more. He said, I wouldn't pay it. I would not pay it. <laughs> but I guarantee he's the only person in the whole country that would probably take on, you know, would probably say that. Of course, some people wouldn't want them because everything in the world has been politicized. Everything in the world has been politicized. You know, electric cars? Nah, that's for liberals. Solar panels? What are you, some type of tree hugger? You know, I'm I'm serious. I, and I, I am exaggerating a little bit. I'm being a little bit flippant. But I'm, I'm mostly serious with that. And it's sad. It's terrible. But anyway, I, I, don't, I don't politicize anything myself. Nothing. I don't care. You know, but many people do. So, do y'all want to hear more about this? Do you want, I could show like how the app works when I get it working. And talk about whether or not it does cover 105% of my electrical needs. What do y'all think? Do y'all care? Do I need to do more videos on this? Or, nah, nah, no big deal. Let me know what you think. And do you have solar panels? And this is, I want to know, seriously. Did most of your friends and relatives and co-workers even comment at all? And if they did, how many of them told you you may want to go get checked for a brain tumor? How many of them said, you're the man, that's awesome, that's fantastic? And how many thought you were simply freaking insane? And those that think you're insane, what percentage of those would think you did a great thing if you went out and bought a 100,000 mile truck, you know, three or four years old, which is extremely expensive for those. Now, let's look at the stock price.
and this is how this company is doing solar edge now that's all i'm going to say for now about the solar panels so if that's all you're interested in then i appreciate you watching if you want to just look at solar edge technologies as an investment i won't spend but just a couple minutes on it you will you're free to hang around as well but that's what we're going to talk about the rest of this video and i'm not going to do a deep dive into solar edge but i want to look at some some things market cap 18 billion dollars look here profit margin 8.6 operating 10.6 and they had almost two billion dollars in revenue the last 12 months Quarterly earnings growth, 132 freaking percent. That, that's amazing. Revenue growth, 54%. Gross profit, 630 million. Which gross profit, I'd rather look at net profit. Net income, $169 million, you know, for 12 months. They've got $698 million cash, but they have $716 million debt. You know they could they could almost pay off all their debt just with the cash they have their total debt to equity which is one thing i like to look one thing i like to look at 54.63 so 54 percent of their equity their debt equals 54 percent of their equity now sometimes i believe i'm the only person in the world that cares about company debt i love to see companies debt free most people don't give a crap and some of these companies like volkswagen have so much freaking debt you know, but pets, I like pets. They're debt-free. That's one reason I like them. They're completely, absolutely, totally debt-free. P-E-T-S. You know, but, you know, a lot of people will say, well, there's good debt and bad debt, which is true. I mean, if you're leasing a building for, I don't know, $30,000 a month, and you have a chance to buy it, and your payment's going to be $30,000 a month, but you don't have the money to pay cash for it, well, you might as well take out a loan. It's kind of like a mortgage. It's better than paying rent. But I'm not smart enough to figure out if it's good debt or bad debt. But anyway, this isn't this isn't bad. 54 equity is more than I like to see, but it's not bad. Of course, I like to see zero. 52 week high, 389, when right now the price is 328. And the low is 199. Here's something else I like to look at. 50 and 200 day moving average. And look how close these are. This is unbelievable. That's about a 1% difference in 150 days. You know, so you're certainly not getting a discount on this stock. It's certainly not on sale. The 50 day moving average, 285. 200 day, 287. It's a whole lot closer to the 52 week high than the 52 week low. It's up 28% for the year. This stock, you're paying full price for this stock. You know, you just have to ask yourself what's going to happen in the future, which of course you don't know. You can only make assumptions and half guesses, which is what investing is. No dividend. I don't like, you know, I like to see a dividend myself, but for a lot of companies, it's better that they keep that money and do other things with it rather than pay to shareholders. So it's not a deal breaker for me. It just makes me feel good to get a dividend. Um, right here, PE ratio, 107. Man, that's high. I like seeing under 20. I certainly like seeing under 50. Ford PE, which I never look at, but a lot of people do, because it's just based on estimates. 51.55, that's a whole lot better. But right here is the only thing that matters to me, the current. Now that that is high. You know, but they could grow, that could come down. It, it's not like a thousand or something. It, it could come down, so not a deal breaker. Look here, a year to date. A year ago was 282. So it's gone up 14% year to date. Man, I should have bought it right here, 209 biggins. In the last month, in the last month it's gone up 8%. Let's look at five years. Look at this. Jeez, I've been trying to buy, huh? In the last five years it's gone up almost 2,000%. Why couldn't I have thought about them then? Here's a big problem me, $328. I don't have much cash in my uh, retirement account. But I would not mind owning a small percentage of these of this company because, I mean, they're just now tapping into Arkansas. And I have a feeling there's going to be more and more people in this area getting solar panels. And when they do, half their friends and stuff are going to say, tell them they are absolutely insane. Thanks for watching, y'all. That's about all. Bye!